Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video I'm showing you how to wash cashmere and how to care for other wool garments in your wardrobe. had a lovely week so far. If you're new here, my name is Alana Hope and I'm a fashion stylist and image consultant based here in Sydney, Australia. I noticed a lot of the time when we buy wool garments, whether they are merino or cashmere or alpaca or mohair or even a blend of wool and acrylic, that they often have dry clean only written on the label. And it's not always the case that you need to dry clean these pieces. You can often skip the dry cleaning bill and skip all those extra chemicals by washing it at home. And it's quite a simple process and I'm going to take you through it today in this video as well as answer a few common questions I get about these types of garments. So to wash your pieces, all you're going to need is a tub and I need you to fill it with some cool water. It's really important that you choose cool water and not hot or warm water. And I'll get into that a little bit later when I'm answering some common questions I get about wool products. The other thing you're going to need is a baby shampoo. I tend to pick the Johnson's baby shampoo. It's up to you what baby shampoo you choose. You can also get wool uh, cleaners like wool light i personally have found baby shampoo to be fantastic it's very easy to find and it's cost effective the other thing you're going to need is a bath towel and this towel you're going to use to lay your garment on when it's finished being cleaned and then an optional thing you can do if you want to be absolutely perfect with how you've cleaned your garment and make sure that it fits perfectly after you've washed it is a tape measure and a pen and paper just so you can take some loose measurements of your garment and make sure that when you've washed it you can stretch it back out to the same size that it originally was. All right, let's get into it. So first, what we're going to do is take the measurements of our garment. And this is quite simple. You just need a pen and paper and a measuring tape. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way a little bit. And this is the jumper that we are going to be cleaning today. All I'm gonna do is lay it out nice and flat. Now, I really like the way it fits at the moment, so I'm gonna copy the exact measurements. All I'm going to do is take the measurement from top to bottom. And that is the bottom of the front hem. And that is 60.5 centimeters. I'm then also going to take a measurement from armpit to armpit and make sure your tape measure is nice and straight and that your garment is nice and flat. And that is 54 centimeters. So I just wanna make sure that the sleeve is the same length when I've finished cleaning it. So I'm just going to fold the garment along the shoulder seam line the arm seam line and I'm just going to take my tape measure and go from the top of the arm hold it nice and straight and that is 50 centimeters excellent once you've done that you can put your tape measure away and your pen and paper to the side because you won't need that and let's move on to the next step all right so I've laid out my towel on a flat surface I've got my jumper here I've got my tub of cool water and what we're going to do with this tub is we're going to put a little bit of the baby shampoo in there. All you need to do is a few little drops. This is only a small amount of water, so you don't need much. I would say one pump, maybe a little bit more than one pump is plenty. And then all you're going to do is put your hands in. You wanna get some bubbles happening in this water. Okay, so I've got a few bubbles now that have started to happen. Doesn't need to be a foam like a bubble bath or anything like that. Just a few little bubbles is perfect. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your jumper and you're going to put it in there. And what you want to do is fully immerse the jumper and it might take a moment to sink it in. Now, if it's the first time washing your piece, you might find that the water does have a little bit of color runoff in it. It's just dependent on the piece you have and whether you've laundered it before. As long as you have that cool water, that should minimize you having a lot of color runoff. And what you want to do is you just want to massage the piece. You don't want to rub the piece up against each other. You just want to massage it. And you will notice that if it's been a while since you washed it last, that the water might change color and be a little bit murky. And that's fine. You're going to rinse all that off shortly. Okay. Once that's immersed, what you want to do is leave that to soak for about five minutes and then come back and just see how it's going. If you've got any stains on your garment, you might just want to check on the stains and see if they've lifted. If not, you can leave it in there for about 15 to 20 minutes, but I wouldn't leave it in there for any longer than that. So it's now been about five minutes and this piece for me didn't need a big clean, I only cleaned it 
uh, a couple of months back. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the piece out. I'm going to change the water over. Now when I take the piece out, I'm not going to lift it up by its shoulders because it will stretch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to piece it together, kind of like I'm screwing up a ball um, of fabric or screwing up a towel in my hands. I don't want to pull on it to the point where it's going to stretch out. So a good way to do it is you gather it up, give it a little bit of a press, And it does change the color of the water. And I mean, I flogged this, but it is a bit yucky to see how much um, gunk was on my jumper. And you'll probably find the same, particularly if you wash yours in a clear basin. So remember not to wring your garment. You're just pressing the water out of it. Okay, and then you just sit it on the towel for a moment. We're just gonna go and change over this water. Okay, so I now have some fresh water. There are no soap suds in this. It's also cool water. And I've got my piece here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rinse the soap out of it. So I'm going to put it back in and get any soap suds out. So I'm just massaging it a little bit just to make sure that there's no more soap in there. Remember not to pull it up out of the water. It's not like you're kneading dough. You want to kind of massage it in the water. Okay, once you've got the majority of the water out, you're just going to lay the garment out flat on your towel. And remember not to pull it up from the shoulders or let it kind of hang from your hands. You want to try and put it on the towel and just kind of unfold it. So once you've laid it out flat, what you want to do is measure your garment in those same places to check that it's still the same length. If it's not, you can just push the fibers a little bit back together. Still make sure it's nice and flat when you do this. And that way, when your garment is dry, it dries the same size as it was when you washed it. Now, next what you wanna do, you've laid it out on a towel. Some people will roll up the towel and press on the towel. I don't tend to do that because I can't see if my garment is stretching back out again. What I do instead is I lay it out on a towel and if I wanna speed up the drying process, I get my clothes horse out and I lay the towel flat over the clothes horse and I put my jumper back on top of it. So now it's time to answer some questions that I get asked a lot about wool garments. And the first one I get is, is there a faster way to clean wool garments? I think if you just need to give your garment a little bit of a refresh, I think a great idea instead is to steam the garment. I find if you just turn it inside out and steam it, it'll often get rid of any extra odors that might be in the garment. But if your garment does need to be properly cleaned or it's got a little bit of dirt on it, I think it's best to always just give it a good hand wash. Can you put wool in the washing machine? You can sometimes do a wash in the washing machine if your machine has a delicates or wool wash cycle on it. When you do it, just put it on a short cycle, make sure that water is cool. And always, 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 if I can stress this enough, use a delicates bag. It's going to keep your piece feeling better when you get it out of the washing machine. Can you put wool in the clothes dryer? And the big answer to that is a big no. Please don't, you'll break my heart, don't do it. If you put wool in the dryer, what will happen is the piece is very likely to shrink, it's very likely to pill. Sometimes if it's a really hot dryer, it can felt the garment as well, depending on how much water was in that garment when you put it in there. Dryers are just generally not that good for clothing in general, so I would strongly recommend you stay away from dryers. What happens if you wash your wool in hot water? If you use hot water and you wash wool, what is very likely to happen is that the wool will felt and it will shrink. Uh, if you do boiling water on it um, or you spill hot tea on it, you can very likely felt that garment. The best thing to do is wash in cool water all the time. How do I get rid of pills in my sweater? This is something that comes up quite a bit and it is really easy to get rid of them. You don't always have to send them to a professional. It doesn't mean it's the end of that sweater's life either. They are just fibers that have come loose that are stuck together. What you want to do is lay your garment down on a flat surface. Make sure the garment is completely flat. Then you want to get a razor. Now you want to get a razor that is like a disposable razor. You don't want to get just a thin little bit of blade. You want to get a razor with a handle and then very soft 
softly, you want to just shave the jumper. You can get sweater shavers, but I personally find a disposable razor does the trick and they're very easy to come across. You don't have to go to a specialty store to find a sweater shaver when you've got a disposable razor at home. How do you dry your wool garments? So apart from laying it flat on the bench, on a towel, the other thing I would recommend would you just lie it flat on a clothes horse. I put a towel underneath it to keep it flat. Otherwise I find the sleeves will fall down and then they'll stretch out. You wanna make sure that when you dry these types of garments, you don't hang it up on a hanger and you don't let it kind of hang over anything either. If you do, because it's heavy and because it's got a lot of water in it, what will happen is the garment will stretch out. And how do I store my wool garment? So the answer to that is always folded. If you don't have room for folding, if you don't have a chest of drawers or you don't have shelving in your wardrobe, what I recommend you do is you fold your garment over a hanger. Because they are such heavy garments, they will stretch out the longer they are hung up in a wardrobe. And if you just sit them kind of like a t-shirt or a button-up shirt on a hanger, they'll start getting shoulders in them and they'll get very long in the body. So it's always best to fold them. And that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you to ditch the dry cleaners and give it a go yourself at home. And if you have any ideas for future garment care videos or more videos that you want to see on this channel, please let me know down in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on Sunday with another video.